video, we're going to be making a very simple but super effective anti-acne face wash, okay? So this particular product is going to help uh, reduce inflammation, it's going to help declog your pores, and it's also going to help fight, you know, the bacteria that causes acne. So we're going to get on straight into the video. I'm going to be showing you the different phases that we'd have to go through in order to make our face wash, okay? So if this is something that you're interested in watching, please stay tuned, do not go anywhere. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so getting on to our face wash production. Uh, first things first, make sure that the work surface that you're working with is well, is clean and well sanitized at all times. Make sure that your beakers, your spatula and all your equipment are also well sterilized because you don't want to have bacteria, mold or anything, you know, that's going to mess up your product. Okay, so for this wash, it has amazing benefits. It treats acne and also helps to prevent acne. So this is good for inflammatory acne, um, like nodules, pustules, you know, papules and the rest. It is also great uh, for whiteheads and blackheads because it contains a star active, which is wheeler back extract. Okay, so please, um, stay tuned and don't go anywhere as we get on with this video. I think I said that before. <laughs> Sorry guys Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when you want to start making this particular face wash is to make sure That you have hydrated your gelling face. Okay, um, so what does a gelling face mean? You know how like when you make a wash and it has this jelly texture to it, it's because we have added polymers or crust polymers that help to, you know, sort of thicken and also um, give a very jellish texture. So today I'm going to be using um, clear xanthan gum. Okay, so clear xanthan gum helps to produce clear textured formulas okay so for this wash i actually um going to be using um clear xanthan gum and i have used one percent of clear xanthan gum here so the first thing you want to do is prepare your gel face ahead of time now this is going to save you the headache of having to try to hydrate your gel or hydrate your um your your powder your your polymer and this actually takes a lot of time if you haven't done this ahead of time so the first thing you want to do or prepare is to make sure that you have hydrated your dantan gum okay so you can use like any other gel or any other polymer or cross polymer you can use um sepi max zen you can use uh the regular dantan gum but for me i really want like a clear um viscosity um, i have or what i did add in this beaker is one percent of my clear gum i also added five percent of glycerine so you want to make sure that you add the um clear gum first and then you're going to add your five percent of glycerine vegetable glycerine guys and then you're going to mix it properly okay mix it properly until you can see that there are no particles left in it then you're going to hydrate so you're going to add water and i have 40 percent of my water in here just to make sure that you know the xanthan gum hydrates properly and i do not have any clumps in it so this is the first phase that you always want to prepare before you get along with your other phases okay so um so the next phase I like to prepare is my surfactant phase, okay? So without surfactants, you cannot get any foaming or cleansing ability, okay? So the surfactants are responsible for the cleansing ability of your wash and the foaming ability of your wash, okay? So they're also called detergents, if you may. Okay, so I have my cocoa betaine. 
um, in here already. I already measured that out and I have it at 5%. I'm making a 100 gram batch, guys. Okay, so the next surfactant that I also added is my Desil Glycoside. Now, the thing I love about Desil, Desil Glycoside is the fact that it is a non sulfate surfactant. Okay, so it is not hash and it has excellent foaming abilities and it is mild to the skin okay so so i have my distilled glycoside at five percent already measured out in my beaker so the next surfactant that i'm working with for this face wash is cocoa glucoside this is also another very mild surfactant that is awesome and does not contain sulfates uh, so it is super mild on the skin and has excellent firming abilities and cleansing abilities although the glucosides are mild they have excellent cleansing abilities and they do have a luxurious foam to them as well so i'll be using our coca glucoside at two percent okay for this face wash so i already measured that out as you can see i just pour them in here and just mix them with my spatula nicely and i'm going to set it aside and prepare the other faces so for my heated water stage the first thing that i do is to actually measure out my powders or my actives so in here i have my niacinamide Okay, so I'm not using the regular niacinamide or vitamin B3 powder. I'm actually using niacinamide USB or niacinamide PC as many of us know this particular active by. Okay, so, so the great reason for using niacinamide PC is because this has less irritation than the regular um, niacinamide powder that, you know, is in the market it actually um, affords less irritability you know and a lot of people tolerate this particular niacinamide pc as opposed to the regular niacinamide powder also niacinamide pc has a wide ph range okay so while you might be very careful with formulating with the niacinamide powder that's the regular one because it is ph dependent the niacinamide pc has a more ph tolerance or a broader ph um tolerance or range okay so i have this here measured out at um four percent and then i also have my nag powder uh, measured out here uh, just two percent of my nag powder because niacinamide and nag have a super amazing synergy so i like to formulate um using both of them because um nag actually boosts niacinamide and the efficacy of niacinamide so our uh, stat actives are the white willow extract which we're going to be adding um or willow extract rather which we're going to be adding in our cool down phase and our niacinamide and our nag powder okay so i've measured this out and i'm just going to set it aside while i measure out my distilled water okay deionized water or distilled water um, when you're making this wash please do not use tap water and please do not use any other type of water either you're using a deionized water or distilled water that would be fine for this particular formulation okay all right then so i already measured out um the water that i need for um the heated water phase here so it's already in my b car and don't worry all the calculation is going to be in the description box so you're going to take your time to study it and make accurate you know and have accurate measurements throughout that so the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is my vegetable glycerin okay so always make sure you're using very good actives and that your actives are super 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 quality okay because that would determine how good you know your final product is going to be if you use really weak or bad you know or substandard ingredients you're going to have a substandard product so you want to invest in using quality ingredients okay 
Okay guys, so I've added my glycerin into my deionized water and I have 8% for this particular formula. So I've added that. I'm just going to mix it properly with my spatula. Then I'm going to add my niacinamide powder and my nag powder into the same bicker and then i'm going to heat it to about 60 degrees and once i do that i'm going to come back here and then we're going to get on with the rest of our formulation okay okay so i've added my powders into my distilled water and glycerin okay so i'm just going to mix it you see I'm just mixing and mixing and mixing after which I'm going to use my double boiler method to heat it up to 60 degrees and then I'll be right back like I said okay see you okay guys so I'm back from heating uh, my water phase and I'm just going to let it cool I need to cool up to about 40 degrees before I add um, other ingredients, but you can see that the niacinamide and the nag powder have dissolved nicely um, in here. Okay, uh, we're just going to check the temperature. You can see it's about 50 degrees, so I'm just going to wait for it to drop up till um, what's it called to 40 degrees before we continue with this one. Okay, hi guys, there are our heated water phase has cooled down or uh, down to room temperature it's now um below 40 degrees um while i was waiting for this to cool down i went ahead to measure out our cool down phase ingredients and don't forget everything is going to be in the description box so don't bother i'm just trying to uh, make sure that this video is not so long so i keep doing certain things off camera but everything is going to be well detailed and explained in the description box for you okay so um this is 0.5 percent of my preservative so i'm using a broad spectrum preservative um i'll be i'm using liquid gemmo plus um at 0.5 percent so i already measured that out here i also measured out um okay guys so i already measured out some of our cool down phase actives in here um as well okay so our star ingredients which is our weevil back extract which is the important ingredient that we need or the star active that we need um to reduce inflammation and treat acne so this contains salicin and it's really 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 good at reducing pimples and treating pimples acne and all of that okay so this willow back extract i did add it in here at three percent we also have our homeactants sodium lactate we have this at two percent and we also have one very important ingredient that i really love that is our elderberry liquid extract so we have this here at two percent as well now this is a star, a star ingredient i absolutely love elderberry every time that i'm making something for acne pimples i always add my elderberry liquid extract now elderberry is awesome it softens the skin it's great for fighting acne and aging it contains a hefty dose of antioxidants um it is not to be used however by pregnant women or breastfeeding women please um if you want to make this particular wash please um if you're pregnant or breastfeeding you need to uh, replace this particular um active or this particular ingredient with licorice extract okay so I have elderberry um, at 2% in our uh, in this uh, dish okay so I have it at 2% and this is an amazing ingredient guys like I have seen the beauty and the that is I've seen like the amazing benefits of elderberry liquid extract but like I said um, if you fall into the category of or pregnancy or breastfeeding please replace with licorice extract okay so um, I have this at 2%. 
in here um in this dish okay so these are our cool down phase ingredients and i'm going to be adding them into this water phase that has cooled down so i'm just going to add it make sure everything goes in because you want the right measurement <laughs> okay so make sure everything goes in Alrighty, so I'm just going to stir. Sorry. I'm going to stir everything nicely. Let me just stir a bit for you guys. Yes. So I'm just going to go ahead to stir everything nicely. You can see. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to buffer our surfactant face. Okay. Um, so uh, this is our surfactant phase where we have our surfactants, uh, the cocoa betaine, the diethyl glucoside and the cocoa glucoside okay so i'm going to be adding our buffering agent so i'm going to be using l agonine okay so l agonine is an amino acid uh but that does really really good things for the skin it actually uh restores visible skin damage or uh, when used in you know a decent uh quantity but for the purpose of this video i'm not going to delve into the main uses of l agonine but for the purpose of this video we're using l agonine a 10 percent solution of l agonine i already pre-dissolved pre um our l agonine solution um in here so our 10 percent one uh so i'm going to be using it as my buffering agent so um i'm going to be using it to boost the ph of this face wash okay and to increase the ph of this face wash okay so i'm just going to be adding the 10 percent that's this one the 10 percent elagonine solution i'm going to be adding it at 0.2 percent okay to this surfactant phase so i've added my 10 percent elagonine solution at 0.2 percent uh, which translates to about 0.2 gram i've added it into my surfactant phase i'm going to go ahead and stir that so right now i'm going to i have stirred my surfactant phase that i just added the l agonine um solution to to act as a buffer so i'm going to be adding it into like my surfactant in sorry into my water phase okay so i'm just going to lower my camera so you can see okay so i'm just going to add a bit first and then i'm going to stir gently okay so you don't want to uh what's the word now you don't want to go in staring crazy no so you don't generate excessive um bubbles so you want to be super 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 gentle as you stare okay so as you can see i'm staring and everything is just you know incorporating nicely I'm going to be adding the rest of my surfactant phase into try not to cover it so you guys can see it properly so i'm adding the rest of my surfactant phase into my water phase okay so just going in make sure every drop goes in because you want to end up with the perfect batch size okay okay guys so i've stirred nicely and because i buffered um my surfactant phase okay with the l agonine i still have a very clear solution or i still have a clear wash okay uh so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to check the ph the current ph of 
this washed as it is now okay at this point i'm going to check my ph and i'm going to adjust this okay so we want the final ph to be at six okay so i'm going to adjust the ph to be at six and then i'm going to once i adjust that then i'm going to add my gel phase into um into the wash system then i'm going to add the final ingredient which is my gemmo plus or my preservative okay so um let's check the ph now so we have our current ph at 8.3 nine okay so i would have to buffer this um to reduce the ph okay so i'm going to be using um lactic acid uh to bring the ph down to about six okay so um let's do that okay okay guys so i'm going to be using my lactic acid um to uh buffer my wash okay to get it down to a ph of about um six okay so if i have a ph of 5.90 that's fine because um you know if it drifts then it goes you know sort of like to 5.50 which is still within the ph that i want and then if it drifts backwards you know then it would land at six so um i would really love for my ph to be between uh 5.9 uh thereabouts <laughs> to allow for ph drifts in okay so um this wash can accommodate 5.5 to 6 uh ph okay so that's that's what you want to be looking out for when you're making this face wash so 5.5 to 6 so you really want to start with very very minimal um drops because the thing about lactic acid is that a little goes a long way so if you start with adding large amounts of the lactic acid what's going to happen is you're going to have reduced your ph so much and then you're going to get back to increasing it again that has happened to me a couple of times and i learned the hard way so <laughs> what i just do is i um literally just do uh-huh so i've done one drop okay and um i'm going to literally allow it for a few seconds and i will check my ph again and then i would see if i need to add a bit more okay so you need to go easy when you are trying to reduce your ph with lactic acid okay <laughs> so i'm going so you can see that the ph has dropped and we are on 8.28 but this is still a far cry from where we want to get to so i'm just going to off camera um keep adding drops okay until i get to my final ph of about 5.9 ish and then i'll be back okay okay guys so i am currently at 5.82 as you can see on my ph meter okay so when i started checking this last phase um uh this last set of ph you can see that my my wash is still drifting so i started on 5.86 and it has drifted to about 5.81 so this is why um i like to allow uh, my ph within a range where if it falls forward or it falls backwards my actives are still within you know the required ph that they need to be buyer available um to do what they're you know in the formula to do do you understand me so what i'm trying to say is there's something called ph drift where when you make a product and you allow it to sit for probably some time or even up to a day you would notice you would notice that the ph may drift you know forward or backwards so you want to make sure that the ph that you arrive at um will allow for if it drifts forward 
your actives are still covered and if it drifts backwards your actives are still covered so all of my actives and everything that i have used for this particular face wash will still be buyer available from 5.50 to about 6 ph so leaving my face wash at 5.81 is just perfect okay so while you're making yours make sure that you stay within 5.50 till about six okay so do not just make it and then just end at six if that makes any sense because it may drift okay so yeah that's it so i haven't actually adjusted our wash to my desired ph i'm going to be adding my gel face or our gel face because we're doing this together so i'm going to be adding the gel face gradually into um the wash and then i'm going to mix gently again to make sure that everything incorporates nicely and then we're going to put our gemmo plus our liquid gemmo plus which is our what preservative okay guys so i have incorporated our gel face into the formula so this is what it looks like can you see how beautiful it looks oh it's gorgeous can you see that? <laughs> it's beautiful. So I was really tired of like using my hands to manually like use my spatula. So I just went in using my frotta uh, to, um, you know, sort of like dispess their gel face properly into um, the wash. Okay, so. You'd have to, if you have to use a frotter to do this, make sure that you keep the frotter like at the bottom of um, your bicker, okay? Just to make sure that you're not incorporating too many bubbles into your wash, okay? So keep it at the bottom and just... Hey guys, so one more thing that I did was I literally weighed, um, I just put the wash in another bicker and weighed it to know the weight of what I had. And it was a little above 100 because you know we had buffered this um, with lactic so that had increased you know our um batch size so that would mean of course that our preservative would also have to increase so i had to also increase the preservative that i had to accommodate my batch size so the rule of thumb will be to use 0 0.5 of whatever batch size that you are left with after you formulate okay so remember i said i was going to put the gemmo plus last don't forget and after weighing this you know and i got the weight i am now appropriating so i am now appropriating the 0 0.5 equivalent um to the batch size do you understand okay so this is my 0.5 percent of my total batch size and this is going to be sufficient enough um to preserve and protect the face wash against mold against fungi and against any kind of bad things <laughs> that we want to spoil our face wash okay because the liquid gemmo plus is a broad spectrum preservative so i'm just going to be adding it and once i'm done i'm going to show you what the final result looks like okay guys so after adding my preservative this is exactly what the wash looks like can you see uh-huh so this is what it is so you can see that there's a lot of bubbles like quite a lot of bubbles um in the wash so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um cover it and allow it to sit for a few hours you know to allow the bubbles to come down and all of that and before i bottle it up okay so i'm going to cover it with a cling film or sorry a foil actually because that's what i have at the moment so you can use a foil or you can use um a cling film to just cover it and let the bubbles you know sort of like come down and so you can see the actual texture and um this 
actual texture and viscosity of your face wash okay so this is our anti-acne very simple very simple very simple <laughs> so this is our anti-acne um face gel wash okay and it is amazing so it will do beautiful things for your skin if you have acne prone skin please make this wash and use it daily and you will thank me later okay um so this is not just going to work with for treating acne it's also going to help to smoothing your skin and uh, because of all the superpowers of niacinamide you're going to have brightening effects as well so this is a really amazing product really really amazing product so we're going to let it sit like i said and then i will show you guys how it looks when i bottle it up okay thank you so much for watch for watching <laughs> watching thank you so much guys for watching i mean if you watch till this point woo, you are the real mvp i swear <laughs> okay so this is it and um like i said i'm going to leave all the information in the description uh box so you could check it out i'm also going to show you guys how it ladders you know and you know and all of that so yeah this is it so please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Please like and share my videos, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Guys, you can see that it lathers very well. So this is me. I have literally used it on my hands. I haven't applied water at all to it. I just literally... Um, added it to my hands and you can see this is no water at all but you can see that it lathers so so well so by the time I add water you notice that it's going to ladder even more so this is an actually wonderful product and I look forward to your feedbacks when you make it thank you hi guys so this is how the finished product looks like can you see uh, so this is it bottled it up and it looks really pretty so um just in case you want to use like color or add like mica um to your face wash maybe to give it like a different color i just this is actually for me so i didn't want to add like fragrance and <clears throat> and color or anything so this is actually mine okay but if you want to add color to your um face wash your own when you're making it um you just have to take out um uh, a percentage you have to take out 0 0.5 percent from uh the from the water percentage that you have for your heated water phase okay so you just need to take out 0.5 percent from the water percentage that you have uh in your heated water phase to accommodate your 0.5 percent color okay and another thing too is if you want to add fragrance to this um you can also or essential oils or fragrance um you can actually also uh, make room for uh for that from you know the water phase and um, don't forget that when you need to use a fragrance or you need to use an essential oil you would need a solubilizer so you would need um uh, since this particular wash has like a 5.81 um, final pH, we'll be using polysorbate 20 to incorporate our fragrance or our essential oil so that you don't have the oil floating in your wash, okay? Uh, so, but if you don't need any of that or you have sensitive skin, you could just go ahead and just use your wash like this, sorry. Or you could just add your micro color uh, at 0.5% to give it a really, really pretty color. So yeah, this is how it looks like and literally... That's it. Sorry, I'm holding my phone with one hand. So yeah, basically this is it. You can see it's up close. It's very jelly and all of that. So that's it. It's really beautiful and it's going to be super effective for um, maintaining acne prone skin, preventing excessive breakouts and also, you know, keeping your and also keeping your pores clear because um, the Weedleback extract contains salicin, which is good at detoxing our pores and, um, you know, preventing whiteheads and blackheads and also treating them. So this is fantastic. Um, if I just pour out and let just squeeze out a little can you see how jelly it is you see this is how jelly our wash is can you see it so this is the consistency i'm just going to pump out more so this is the jelly texture that we have can you see that it looks gorgeous i know <laughs> so yeah and it lathers excellently well as well so yeah i hope you can try it and just let me know how you get along with this wash thank you thank you again for watching and i can't wait for you to try yours and give me your feedback thank you and bye